Hi, John Dobus from Forbes, back here at the Money Show, San Francisco. Uh, we're talking today with a bunch of gurus, but right now we've got John McCammon. He's the editor of the Medical Technology Stock Letter. Bioinvest.com is where people find you, right? You bet, John. I've been talking to you for years. Yeah. It's been like almost 15 years now. You bet. Um, and, and, and in your newsletter, you talk about uh, blue chip and some speculative across, across the board. A drug development A to Z, biotech is a specialty, but anything that's in development from the Optivos and you see on TV to anything in the early stage development, we're tracking. John. So now you can't avoid watching television and not hear about uh, opioid addiction, the opioid crisis, this, that, or the other, opioid, 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 say that five times fast, and I, but anyway. It's a spell check nightmare also. You are, uh, is it O before I or I before O? Oh, I, I think. In any case, I don't want to digress too much. We were talking before we started here about, uh, you think what is a good buy right now, a company called Nectar, NKTR? NKTR. Tell me about it. No, well, they're position, if nothing else, with the FDA right now is that we've got a new commissioner, Scott Gottlieb, looks like he wants to come in make a big difference, one of Trump's successful picks. He's already talked about the opioid epidemic a couple of times. Yep. The problem is we haven't had a new drug for pain since basically opium. This right. is what we have to work with is the opioid derivatives. But what we've had though in the last 10 years is new opiates come to the market that were so-called abuse deterrent, but basically junior chemists were able to cook and bake their way around these right, right. and just created worse addiction problems. So what Nectar has done is created a new chemical entity. This is not cookable or changeable. This specific science allows it to or minimizes the penetration into the CNS to create less of a likability or less high and also minimizes how much goes into your respiratory. That's a major benefit. They've on one phase two trial, it's successful, so it it works. So phase two is the second one, right? And then this, the three means go to market, right? Yeah, but you need two phase threes usually in a chronic disease space. So they have one under the belt, two of these human abuse liability trials where they compare their drug directly to oxycodone and show that it's less likable, they get less high, exactly what you want to show in the profile for the drug. We believe they will file this for FDA approval by year end. Um, it already has fast track, but then the FDA would be able to put some additional six months, get it to market faster, big pressures. But in addition, John, this is a multi-billion dollar market. This drug is unpartnered, mm -hmm. and it would need a large partner because this drug will basically go into every doctor's office in the country. So I mean, they would get like a Pfizer or a Merck or somebody like that to come in and do it? Yes, and the longer you wait, the economics could be north of 20 to 30% royalty, which is huge in this space. Um, these are small molecules. They're going to have huge margins. So we have two major catalysts for Nectar going forward, which would be a major partnership for 181 and also the, the approval. In addition, Nectar is a full company with a wholly owned pipeline and some approved drugs, including one for OIC, opioid induced concentration. That's in those commercials. The, uh... that, that's their technology, but basically they've used an um, extended release to create a drug follow on. Right. But that's how they fund this wholly owned pipeline. So that's one of our favorite business models in biotech. Platform, lots of opportunities, get the first ones in the market while holding on to all of the rights to the potentially big market opportunity that you develop behind it. Cool. Let's, uh, I've heard of Nectar, they've been around for quite some time. Check them out. John McCammon likes it.